Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog. Yeah, beautiful flowers. So beautiful. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. earlier than usual this morning um and so we've been playing teddy's still asleep he brought me his shoes he went to the door um so he wanted to he wanted to go out so it's before 9 a.m and we're at the park Baby needs all the belly rubs this morning. Jamesy's new favorite. Hey. Excuse me. So uh, Teddy is finally awake. <laughs> you can really see with me wearing a tank top that I got some sun yesterday. And not on my arms because I had my bathing suit cover up on the whole time. I, I could feel my back getting it and we actually put sunscreen on my back. Um, I don't know how this, <laughs> this happened. I was facing away from the sun, but whatever. It is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it now. Um, we are exhausted today. Like, I feel like... You know, back in the day, Peter and I would go to Disney World every single day. Like, truly, like, sometimes when we, we tell people about us living in Florida, we're like, we would go, like, five, six times a week. Like, you guys know. If you've been here, we were basically on Disney World property every single day. And I guess it was just a few hours at night. But I just feel like recently, when we have a big day, like, we are spent. Like, last night when we got home, we ended up just going to bed. We did not edit or work out or anything. I just feel like when, like now, like when we do a full day of activities, like we're, we need a day to like recover. So yeah, um, it's Monday, Peter's working. We got some spooky shows on. We're gonna go trick-or-treating. We're gonna go trick-or-treating, Peter said. And I'm gonna get back on the Peloton today. I think my goal for now is every other day. That's fine. Just to get started. And if I go on every day, then it's like extra. But I think that's what my goal is gonna be. Oh no. Put him back on his back before he gets frustrated. Okay, come on, try again. again. Okay, Teddy just rolled over. And Christina's on FaceTime. Do it again. Here we go, man, I'm tired. <laughs> I saw him go halfway. I turned and then I looked back and he was over. We missed it. The man in his head is pumping. Oh yeah, you're three months old today. He looks at Mickey. Thank you for thank you for being my inspiration. Alrighty, we didn't capture a roll, but hopefully soon. But I did find this new activity on TikTok. I just cut an opening in this oats container and he's putting the cards in. I swear I find so many different toddler activities with stuff that you would just like find around your house on TikTok, if you're like, I mean, maybe I could share more to my Instagram story. I don't really know, but I don't know if you're ever like running out of ideas. TikTok, I'll, I'll put the handle of the woman that I follow here. A boo, boo, boo. Boo, boo, boo. 
What time is it? 5.50. 5.50. I don't know how it got so late. You fell asleep. I fell asleep? I fell asleep for like two seconds on the couch. <laughs> Sarah's finally getting the vlog up. Just joking. <laughs> She's the one who keeps saying, like, I'm gonna go do this, and she's like, wait, I should get the vlog up. And then, like, something what? happens. She's like, wait, I should get the vlog up. She's getting the vlog up. James and I are watching Bluey. I don't know what he's about to do, but it's probably something he shouldn't, by the looks of it. And who knows what this Monday night is gonna hold, but. Oh! <laughs> should you be holding that glass? Let's get out and go somewhere. Well, I said we should get out and go to Rocks in Lakeview, get some cheeseburgers. Uh, Teddy is sleeping, so we can't go anywhere just yet. True. We have to wait for him to wake up, and then we can go somewhere. Oh yeah, we're at Jamesy's favorite store. Alrighty, we're doing our easy dumpling soup situation. I got this frozen stir fry from Aldi. They are in this with some oil, and they're gonna be covered for five minutes. Cook them up, comes with this sauce. We're changing things up a little bit this time. Still using this miso broth from Trader Joe's. I don't know if it's enough. I might end up using some veggie broth or some water because we have this like, um, what is this? Just extra seasoning goodness from the stir fry veggies. So I think it might be fine to do water if, with this. Um, chicken and pork pot stickers from Jewel, and then this is our leftover quinoa from our Greek bowls two nights ago. It's quinoa and rice, so that's gonna go in the soup because we gotta get, we gotta eat that. I have a little friend over here who woke up from their nap. Dad and James are going to Jewel for some of our fall signature candies, and he's gonna hang out with me. And here's my other sous chef. Evie. It's his favorite store in the world. And he loves Starbucks fall drinks. Boom, chaka laka laka laka. Ooh, see your compartment. Alrighty, the veggies are cooked. I added in that packet of sauce and some red chili flakes and some spinach. Why do you look so suspicious? Um, this little one needed to be held. And that's right, because we were finishing up. I added in the rice and the quinoa, which there's like a lot more than I realized. There's plenty of room for the pot stickers to cook, but I think I've decided to pan sear those. And then if you want to throw a dumpling in your soup, you can. If you want to eat it crispy, you can. That way you have the option. And then, yeah, just have the option instead of trying to pack them into this pot. I did the full box of miso broth and then a little bit of water, so I'm going to taste it and see if I should add anything. Yeah, so this did need to be spunked up. I added in some ginger paste, some garlic powder, and some soy sauce to start. James, that was a more brutal visit to Jewel. Who would have thought seven o'clock on a Monday was a terrible time to go, but hey, we still had a good time, right? When you're a good kid, you're gonna get some candy when we get home now. Ah, for dinner. Alrighty, I added a last minute salad to dinner. It looks kind of boring, but the dressing is really yummy. It's this like orange ginger sauce that we got from Aldi and I judged it up to be more of a dressing. Croutons and cranberries. We got our soup, our pan sear dumplings. Will you show Jamesy's plate? That's Jamesy's plate all chopped up. He's loving it so far. He's a dumpling kid. Daddy's cleaning up dinner. We got Raya on. We got some of our Halloween toys out. <laughs> That's a uh, Halloween fragrance. We have our Halloween toys out, and a lot of them are from my childhood, and this is Peter. <laughs> this is one of them, these witch fingers, and they've been Jamesy's favorite thing lately. He just brings them over to me. Should we watch Halloween Town? And I get him with the fingers. Kids are asleep again.
Today is National Rainbow Day. Rainbow Baby Day. Mm hmm. Yeah. We got two. Yeah. And it was like, earlier we were talking about how we feel old and tired from like one busy day. But I feel like we had such like a solid night at home, just like lovey-dovey to each other. And then I was like scrolling while um, I like to keep myself awake when I put Teddy to sleep because we all know I fall asleep easily. And I saw that and I was like, it was just a perfect day with our rainbow babies. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go. Evie's deciding if she hates the steam map or not. And the answer is yes. <laughs> we look sleepy. I think we look refreshed. I think we look sleepy or refreshed. <laughs> I tidied. Mm -hmm. I swept and steam mopped the living room and now I'm folding laundry. Got a master class on about cocktails. Wow, I'm editing. I'm finishing this vlog right now. I was like, I need to finish the vlog tonight so let's sign up right now. We have been talking about having a morning routine for weeks. And with the new Peloton and Peter's races coming up, we are like, we need discipline. No day but today. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I feel like we always say tomorrow we're going to start. Well, I didn't is say tomorrow this yet. tomorrow really going tomorrow to be Tomorrow is it? because I'm going to take our middle blind. I like drape it over our bed, headboard. Yeah. We so like when to the sleep. sun comes up, and we have blackout curtains, and that's like our biggest fault. Because I think if we had like, I imagine if we had like an east facing window without another like multi story building right next to us, and we didn't have blackout curtains, that like the sun would be creeping in at like 545, 610, or whatever time it is, and we'd be awake. Like our alarm would go off, but not so easy for our alarm to go off, and we just like turn over to our. Yep. Pitch coziest black, room coziest in the world. bed, coziest room, pitch black. It could be 1 p.m. Yeah. and it'd be pitch black in there. Yeah. So I think that's our downfall. So I'm gonna pull back one of our curtains, one of our three blackout curtains, back like a half mm -hmm. tonight, so that when the sun gets up in the morning, our alarm goes off, like our room is actually lit up. Yeah. I said earlier in the vlog that I was gonna do the Peloton tonight, but with us like truly switching like discipline, no matter what. I'm going to start tomorrow, like on the same path, so then we're, we're good. And I think my plan is to be more on like Teddy's clock because I'll wake up with him and then I just need to stay awake. Hold us accountable. And then you wake me up, if he wakes you up and you go work out super early, mm -hmm. you, cause you're gonna go back to bed. Mm -hmm. After, if it's really early, you should wake me up when you go back to bed so that I get up and go run. <laughs> So like flip flop. Yeah, you gotta do it. It's good gotta to be do home. it. It'll be. We'll feel. We always feel good. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>